Caroline from nextmonth.com and we have Alice from White Chapel. Uh, Alex, please tell me, um, how's the tour going so far? Uh, it's been really great. Um, definitely one of the better tours we've ever done. Um, you know, I've been a big fan of Slipknot since I was 16. I'm 26 now, so it's going on like 10 years. So to be able to tour with a band like that is definitely um, something surreal for us as a band. Yeah, actually, I was just wondering because, um, you know, you have like the Slipknot and all that. Like, how did you feel being asked to join Mayhem? I mean, you know, we were really grateful. Um, you know, we definitely felt, I guess, special to be included in, you know, a tour of this magnitude. Um, we did Mayhem in 2009 with Slayer and uh, Marilyn Manson. So that was also a really great tour because um, there were a lot of awesome Metal Blade bands on there too as well, like Kim Chorus, Black Dolly Mayer, Jump Blue Cowboy, stuff like that. So. Um, you know, we definitely, anytime we get an offer to do the Mayhem Festival, we're really stoked about it. Great. Um, I think it's how, like, yes. you have, like, these influences that are playing with you. Um, is there anything else that um, you enjoy apart from the tour? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, we definitely, we really like playing, um, you know, I guess, like, the outdoor atmosphere. Of, like these uh, outdoor festivals and stuff. And they're always a lot of fun because you're just playing to so many people. Like, you know, today in Camden, Camden, we were probably playing like, you know, I don't know, six to 7,000 people. Like, you know, it's just, it's really cool to be able to kind of like leave the club tour where you're playing to like, you know, a thousand people and then play to like such a big audience. You know? All right, and also, you were also part of the uh, Warp Tour, so, how is it different, or how can you compare Warp Tour to Mayhem? Um, as far as like being on the tour, it's kind of the same. As far as like outdoor festival style, you know, yes. everybody's fighting for a shower, everybody's fighting for catering, yeah, exactly. and stuff like that. But um, you know, it's really the biggest difference is like demographic. Warp Tour, you know, focuses more on like 14 to like mid 20s ages. Whereas Mayhem is more like early 20s to like, you know, even like 40 or 50 year olds. You know? So it's really cool. Like, you know, we're doing signings and stuff, and it's really cool to see like dads bringing their children like through the signing and stuff. You know, it's really cool to see that kind of stuff. Yeah. And also, like, um, I see and hear this progression of the music compared to like the first White Chapel album and now to the current one, which is self titled. Yeah. Um, what, how do you see the band um, progressing? And where is it going to go next? Um, well, you know, we're definitely always the kind of band that likes to progress in our sound. We never really like to release CDs that sound the same. Um, you know, our fans, when they purchase a CD, we want them to be reassured that, you know, they're going to be buying something new and, you know, an evolved sound from our last CD. So, um, you know, that's definitely something that we strive to do with our writing is, um, you know, we definitely just try to expand in our sound. And we always stay true to what Whitechapel is, but we always try to, you know, progress on every season. And since you're touring with these amazing bands, is there any kind of collaboration talk going on? You know, like maybe some of the other bands are like, hey, I really enjoy your sound, you know, let's team up, let's do some, you know, song, a few songs. Yeah, I mean, that would definitely be really cool. You know, if we could ever have Corey Taylor, you know, doing guest vocals on a record or something, that would be a dream of ours to come through. So, you know, who knows, you know, um, maybe it'll happen one of these days. And also, it's a humongous story. Any fun story, um, band story, band story? Um, every night, or usually kind of like every like three days or so, um, bands on the tour get a chance to like throw a different party and stuff. It's called like a metal mixer where like everyone on the tour can just kind of hang out and get to know each other and stuff. And like Motorhead had their metal mixer along with the tour owner John Reese's birthday. And it was pretty crazy. They had like you know, strippers and a fountain of Jack Daniels and like a Jägermeister ice luge and all this and gambling and all this crazy stuff. And tonight we're doing our party, which is like a juggler theme. Where like everybody paints their faces like the members of ICP and stuff. Yeah, so it should be pretty crazy. It should be a lot of fun. And no fan stories are crazy. Nah, not really. Well, you know, being in light of uh, this Randy Blythe uh, situation. Um, what are your thoughts on that? 
definitely, um, you know, a really big bummer. It's really sad. Um, if I was in his situation, I would have already lost my mind. So, you know, I really admire him for keeping his cool for that long. You know, not only being in jail, but in jail in a different country. Like, that's, you know, some really heavy stuff. So, um, you know, definitely... You know, Lamb of God is a big influence for what we do, so, you know, we definitely support and admire him for, you know, keeping his cool for as long as he has. You know, it's, first the bell was 200000 and then they paid that, and then, you know, they didn't let him out still, and now he had to pay another 200000 so the bell's $400,000, and I've heard that, you know, he might be getting out, but they still had to cancel their headlining tour with uh, you know, Gojira and Death Clock. So, you know, it really sucks. I was actually planning on going to that show in Atlanta. And, uh, you know, I guess now, since it's canceled, it's not. Uh, yeah. Um, does it kind of change your uh, actions towards fans now when you get on the stage or when you see them up close? Um, I mean, I don't know. I feel like if security is doing their job, the bands wouldn't have to worry about that, you know. Um, the bands wouldn't have to worry about fans rushing the stage and stuff like that. I haven't seen the videos of the Lamb of God incident, but I've heard that, um, you know, apparently it was the security guy's fault and not actually Rainbow's. So, I mean, like I said, if security is doing their job and keeping people off stage, then bands wouldn't even have to worry about that. Now, there's a few more dates left on Mayhem. After Mayhem's done, what's next? Uh, after Mayhem, we have like a month off, which should be good to like recuperate and stuff. And then we're going on tour with uh, Hatebreed. <laughs> we're direct supporting them, which that's another band that I've been listening to for pretty much a decade, like since I was 16. So it's really cool to you know be able to direct support a band of like that magnitude, I guess. And then after that, we're going to Europe with the Devil Wears Prada and um, August Bunch And now that you mentioned uh, Devil Wears Prada. What's it like touring with Prada, knowing that they're a Christian base and there's artists on tour that you know have their messages and their lyrics that are against religion? Um, I mean, you know, I definitely feel like we're a band that a lot of people kind of consider like to be not satanic, but like anti-religion. You know, we're definitely one of those bands that people associate upside down crosses with and stuff like that. But you know, for whatever reason. Um, we're really respectful towards whatever bands want to believe in. I mean, we have a lot of bands that were, a lot of Christian bands that we're friends with, you know, like Devil Wears Prada and the Companion Doom and stuff like that. So, um, you know, I think, you know, since we've been raised in the South and stuff, no matter what we believe, we always respect people to have whatever opinion they want to have. So, if they want to believe in God and they want to do all that stuff, and that's perfectly fine with us, you know, because at the end of the day, we're all human beings and there's no reason why we can't all be friends. So, um, you know, we're really stoked to be out here with Prada. We hang out with them a lot. And they took us out on their headlining tour last year with um, Inner Shikari and Four Today. So, you know, we've definitely developed a really good relationship with, you know, a couple of Christian bands like Devil Wears Prada and Doom And also, um, drummer Kevin had to depart, and it's for school reasons. Did you guys ever, you know, consider taking the same path, perhaps, or doing something else? Um... You know, the, the uh, situation with Kevin was definitely kind of, you know, like sticky because, um, you know, we loved that guy to death and we didn't want him to leave the band, but um, it was kind of, there was no other option. Um, you know, with like his injuries and stuff, like his playing just wasn't, you know, up to the standard that we needed it to be, that it used to be, you know, because he was always a killer drummer up until, uh, like, his injuries. So um, we had a fill-in drummer, Gavin Parsons, for a little while. And uh, then after that, Ben Hawker Road, he used to play for Knights of the Abyss. He hit us up and uh, submitted a couple of videos, and we were really impressed with the videos that he had. So uh, we flew him down to try out, and you know, he more or less made the band. Um, and also just finally, any last words for fans? Um, uh, we have, you and, you know. Yeah, we have a new CD out, uh, self-titled. Um, you know, if you're a fan of heavy metal at all, you know, I definitely would suggest picking it up. It's, a lot of bands say it, but it's my favorite album that we've ever put out. Um, I feel like with past albums, there's always been like, you know, two or three songs that are kind of like, meh, like they were just filler, just put on the album so we can have more se 
so that we could have more songs on the CD. But with this CD, I definitely feel like every single song I really love. So, um, you know, we put a lot of hard work and effort into it. All right. Thank you, Alex. No problem.